Good morning, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel, and today it's time for a shave video. Real quick, I'm gonna wet my face. <laughs> I was looking at my shirt, and it looks like there's a white line there, but I don't know if it's me or the camera. Anyways, today's shave soap is going to be by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and this is Cider House 5. Now, the scent profile on this is very nice. Now, if you could imagine, there's what the soap looks like. Imagine a pipe tobacco with a apple cider mixed into it, and that's what you have. And that is a lovely scent. I have it whipped up already in my Captain's Choice copper bowl with this beautiful Trotter's handcraft brush. I'm going to go ahead and get lathered up. And I did soak my copper bowl in some hot water so my lather is nice and warm. And that feels nice. Now I know it's not quite fall, but to me, as soon as the end of uh, August hits, and right around the 1st of September, I start getting those fall vibes. And I know it's not until the end of September, but I don't know. It just seems like fall to me. And today's razor is going to be the Black Land Blackbird. And this one is brass, and what a beautiful razor. I know it shaves well, and that's why I picked it today. I'm going to be using the Gillette Super Thin Blade, and this will be the third use on this particular blade. Let me get this put in there without getting my fingers. All right. And even though I did shine this razor up some time ago, with it being in the cabinet, it definitely holds its shine. The patina doesn't come back that quickly. I'm going to go ahead and warm the razor up here real quick and get the shade going. Oh, yeah. Nice. So this particular soap is not available yet. It will be, it is a seasonal soap. And so I'm gonna say that uh, here in the near future, it will probably be released. And I can hear the audio feedback on this blade today. I do have two days worth of growth. I'm doing another <laughs> late morning shave. All right, I'm gonna get lathered up for pass number two here. I did use a quarter of a teaspoon and 13 milliliters of water. I will say that this soap is at least two years old, maybe pushing three. And the scent on it is still nice and strong. It's not overpowering, but it is still there. Pass number two across the grain. What a pleasant shave. I think I've said this in the past, but when I first got this razor, 
I wasn't sure that I would like that longer handle. But I wanted it because it was brass and that was the only option that I could get my hands on. And after I got it and shaved with it, I found out that I had no problems with the longer handle and that I actually kind of liked it. So just because you think one thing kind of tells you it's good to try stuff even if you think you may not like it because... You might just fall in love with it. Or you might, you might hate it. <laughs> and you may regret the purchase. I don't know. Alright, I'm going to get cleaned up with some cold water. And I'm going to be right back. I have been forgetting the ice cube post shave routine and I apologize about that but sometimes <laughs> it happens and I'm going to be using the matching aftershave splash and why that thing is orange like a pumpkin I have no idea And because it's so nice, I did break down one year and bought the uh, Star Jelly. And I don't know how long the Star Jellies are good for, but it still smells nice. And it has that typical appearance to the gel. So I'm going to say it's still good. All right, well, that is the shave for the day. I appreciate you guys sticking with me and watching my video, and I will see you on the next video. You have a great rest of your weekend.